ano lang kasi there's a misinformation sa internet. Ang sculptor ng Christ's head is not yung niyak or nanyak na nakapost na for years na already. The sculptor is ang cell will be dialed. Dai Action. And they have um, um, a few pages of the Dai Action. They have a few pages of the Dai Action. They have a few pages of the Dai Action. They have a few pages of the Dai Action. They have a few pages of the Dai Action. They have a few pages of the Dai Action. They have a few pages of the Dai Action. They have a few Okay, so good morning everyone. I, I think good afternoon everyone. I hope you are doing okay. Okay, so for our next domain, we have your tangible, movable heritage. So let's start off with ethnographic object. And first on our list is... Okay, the first on our list is Sulibao and Kimbal. So, sino po sa inyo ang hindi taga-Bagyo except for our visitors or taga-Cordillera? Mukhang lahat tayo taga-Cordillera. So, I think we all know Sulibao and Kimbal. So, Sulibao and Kimbal are, of course, drums. Musical instruments usually used by Ibadoy communities. Pero ang for Kakila is they only use Sulibao. So, should we consider this as a part of Baguio's cultural heritage? Yes, yes, my yes, no, no, of course. So, how would you rate this one? This, okay, five. So, we have a perfect score for Sulibao and Kimbal. Now, next is Kansa and Pinsak, or in, uh, the general term for this is Gansa. So, this is from the Ibadan perspective, so they only use two. But recognize they use a set of seven. So, do you consider this as part of our cultural heritage? Yes. Thank you for your response. So, how would you rate that? Five, then. Thank you. Okay, we have here another one. It's Pakong and it's a bamboo percussion instrument. Okay. So, ito po ay ginagamit. Sinabi niya dito na the play of Pakung was done in groups by women walking home from their umaw or talon. Pero, nowadays, ginagamit din po ito sa ating cultural dances and music.